bone will adapt. It will change its structure in response to a change in its function. So here on Earth, you know, bone has the function of, of uh, you know, resisting the loads that are placed upon it, you know, just, just walking around here on Earth. Uh, up in space, we don't have this force that's placed, this loading that's placed upon us. Bone has a capability of sensing the loads that are placed upon it, the loads from gravity, the loads from, you know, that, that our muscle forces put on um, it, so that we can move and be mobile. The osteocyte here is, is considered the gravity sensing cell that senses the amount of load or unloading in there, and it will send out signals that somehow recruits these osteoclasts from the circulation in the bone marrow and from blood vessels that come in and they reduce or cause this adaptation adaptation of the bone structure and what it does is they'll degrade away this bone and as the bone is undergoing this resorption it releases the calcium and this is the way that is uh, dropping its mass. We've been up in space for about 40 years now and probably about the mainstay of a countermeasure for this uh, skeletal adaptation is to provide some of the loading that we would have experienced here through exercise. You know, essentially you're giving the skeleton a reason not to adapt because they have to be strong in order to maintain um, uh, the weight that they're going to experience, the loading they'll experience through the exercise program. Not only are they losing calcium because it's being released from their, um, but the, from their bones, but they're not absorbing calcium from their diet. And so uh, we're going to evaluate whether the supplementation of vitamin D um, facilitates this process more, or you know, we might have to explore other possibilities, other therapies.